So in this video, I'm gonna show you how you can create your perfect offer so you can sell more of your stuff to the people that really need it um, with the least amount of stress possible on yourself and your business. If you don't know me, my name is Nick Corvessis. I'm the founder of Scale Lab. We help business owners create more of an impact and make more money while doing it online. If you like this video, give it a like. If you loved it, subscribe for more and uh, let's get right into it. Okay, so let's first of all talk about the elements of a winning offer. Um, and the first thing I want to do that I put on this title slide is just defining winning for you. Winning just means you're making a crap ton of money from it and you're helping a lot of people achieve their desired result. If you have that, you've essentially got a winning offer. Um, and the reason I put this together is because I've worked with 100 businesses, um, helped them make a ton of money. Um, I've grown my business to a million dollar company and I want to show you really the core element of a successful business because if you screw this up, um, or let me reframe that. If you mess everything else up, but you've got this right, you can have a lot of success. So let's go ahead and talk about the primary elements of a winning offer. And these are going to be the four core ones that I think are most important for you to establish before you do anything else. Um, I'll probably make a part two to this video showing some examples as well as just going a little bit deeper into more elements because they're kind of supporting sub elements but these are the four core ones. So let's go through each of them really quickly. First of all, the promise. You wanna have some kind of promise, guarantee, or um, a risk reversal, right? And ideally you wanna have proof of it as well. Now, a lot of people can get scared about promises or guaranteeing people something, but I want you to really be open to it. Um, and you don't have to, th a lot of people will think about a promise or a guarantee being, hey, you know, in 90 days, I'm gonna help you make 200 grand. And they think of it more of like a money guarantee. That's great and that can obviously work. And if you can help people do that, that's amazing. But I want you to think outside of the box. It doesn't have to be just money. You wanna think about once they achieve their main goal, what other things is that gonna allow them to do, right? So if this was your promise, I would look at restructuring it and instead talk about what's gonna happen once they get the 200K. Well, they're probably gonna be happier, right? They're probably gonna be less stressed they're probably gonna have money to be able to spend, you know, they can buy family gifts, buy girlfriend, wife, loved ones, whatever gifts, right? You're gonna be able to invest in the things you wanna invest in. You get the idea. You wanna talk to them about, yes, this is the result, but that result is going to allow you to do these other many things and it's gonna unlock all these other opportunities for you. So really touch on that instead of just that main, you know, this is the kind of right in your face, which promises you want to look one step deeper into that. So that's the promise. Next one. Um, and th this is another really big, obviously these are all really big. Um, but this next one is you want to make their life easier while also making sure you get them as close to their goal as possible or hitting their goal. So the, one of the biggest issues that I see people having is that they'll have a course with like a hundred hours of, if we're talking about a course here, 100 hours of course content. And if we think about, you know, whoever it is, a lot of people are going to see 100 hours of course content and they're like, holy crap, like, what am I going to do? Like, 100 hours is stupid. Like, that's so much time. That sounds so overbearing. No one is going to want to go through your program. You want to make it easy and you want to make sure you get also, you want to make their life easier while also bringing them closer to their goals. Of course, it's going to take some work, but when you're presenting your offer to them, you don't want to say, hey, there's these 10 different modules, or these, there are these 10 different things that you have to do, and in these 10 different actions you need to take, there are actually three things you need to track, and you need to track it in a separate Google Sheet, and you need to follow up with yourself daily through email, and it's like, holy crap, Like, what, what is happening? And it's like, it can be really crazy. But a lot of people do that, and they, it kind of goes over their head because the product itself is so amazing and it can really help people, but they forget to remember that people are really lazy and you want to make it, you want to make their life as easy as possible while also bringing them closer to their goals. And so you can chunk it down. So how I think of it uh, and how to make this a little bit easier for people is chunk things out. So whether you have a course, a coaching program, um, whether you're selling a product, you want to keep things chunked out and this goes right into this next one and enable you know to chunk things out you can give them a quick win this goes right into this third one 
giving them a quick win is going to totally help you achieve this and you can give them multiple quick wins. So this has to be quick wins and not just a quick win. For example, in one of courses from one of my mentors, he offers in one of the very first, or for one of the people that I advertise with, in his very, I think in one of his third modules, it's like three ways you can a hundred times your value now, right? Or your investment, sorry. So say they invest like $2,000 uh, for this course. Did not mean for that to be in black. Um, but say they buy the course for like two grand. The very first module is like, hey, here are three quick ways that you can just a hundred times your investment in this course, in this program right now. He gives them three little bite-sized things. They're not even videos. It's just like, do this thing once a week. Uh, do this thing once a day um, and get yourself on a schedule to do this once a month. It's like super simple stuff that is just really eye-opening. And they're just quick wins. They're little golden nuggets, right? So, and this ties in to both of these points, excuse my handwriting, in both the making their life easier and getting them closer to their goal and the quick wins, chunk things out. So if you have a 100, 100 hour course, I would start with only giving them, an, and don't even tell them how long it is, just tell them what they're gonna get. You know, Really advertise and sell people on the promise. You don't, you don't wanna sell people on how much content they're gonna be getting. No, no one cares about that. Right, they care about the result that they're gonna get at the end. So that's really, really big. Those are those two things that kind of tie together. And then finally, a starving crowd. You wanna make, and this is probably one of the most overlooked ones, you wanna make sure that you're putting your offer in front of a starving crowd, right? Um, I forget who exactly said this, to be honest, but it's a really big uh, marketer, advertiser, or business owner, really big business owner. I think someone is asking, what was the one advantage? If you if you had a burger stand and if I had a burger stand, what would be the one advantage that you would want that I couldn't have? Um, and I think a lot of people were like, oh, I want the best meat in the town. I want to be located in the best spot in town or something like that. And he just said, no, I just want to make sure I have a starving crowd, right? If you have someone that is completely starving and you have a really crappy burger, they're probably going to buy the burger because they're super starving, Right. Versus not if people are really full, if they've eaten a lot already, no one's going to want to buy your burger. So this is a really big one here, making sure you have a starving crowd. And with this, don't get discouraged. And let's say, I'll, I'll put a couple examples out there. Let's say you're trying to advertise to real estate agents. Let's say you're trying to get in front of restaurant owners. And let's say you're trying to get in front of some coaches. Or you know what, let's just say households, if you have some kind of a product you're selling, okay? This right here is not necessarily, it is not always necessarily a starving crowd. And the easiest way to identify if they're a starving crowd or not is think, have the people in this niche of mine, are there are all of their problems solved? Most of the time it's a no, but I, want, I think to go a step further than that, is look for the sub niches in here, right? So real estate agents, you could go a step further and you could say real estate agents that have made 100K or less, or real estate agents that don't have a millionaire or that are not running a million dollar real estate business, right? Then you could go, let's use this other example for restaurant owners, right? You could say restaurant owners that own, um, I don't know, an American, that sell American food, and that, you know, only have two locations, right? That want to franchise. That could be your starving crowd. So I hope you get what I'm saying where you just need a sub niche. Like if whatever your, whoever your customers are, go one step, go one layer underneath that to figure out where the starving crowd is. Um, that's super important. It's really, really big. Okay, so the next part of building a winning offer, and I've got our guy Optimus Prime up here to show you guys that people do not buy products because of the stuff inside of it. They buy things for the transformation. They buy what they, what their current situation can transform into. It's all about the transformation. It is not about how much stuff is in it. It's not about what cool system it is, although it's not always about the testimonials 
all that stuff helps and supports everything and, and everything I just spoke about with all those key, those four key elements to building a winning offer, those are all amazing, but it's all about the transformation. If you can't show people how they're going to go from, you know, I don't know, Bumblebee to Optimus Prime in this Transformer example, it's not going to. And that's the last thing I want you to take away here is that remember, it's all about the transformation, those four um, kind of key elements to building a winning offer is really what you need to focus on. So if you don't have a business, um, this is what I think you should really look at first. Don't worry about the branding, the logo, what you're going to call the business. Figure out what you can help people with and figure out how you can make it something really irresistible <clears throat> so you can win from your offer and from your business and it can be really enjoyable. Um, the other thing is if you are a current business owner and you are selling already a lot of stuff, look at how you can refine your offer further with these four key elements. These are really the basics and you know, going back and looking at them and seeing where your current offer is kind of a little bit weak and the foundation is a little loose, you can probably strengthen it and make your business operate 10 times better without really changing much. Um, I found that in a lot of the businesses that I've helped, a lot of the times it's just tweaking what's currently there and not adding more stuff. And, and if anything, it's just doing less of the bad. Um, doing less of the stuff that isn't driving any results. So don't look at, it's always very exciting and interesting to want to add more stuff, but it isn't necessarily the right thing to do. Always look at what you're doing first and first ask yourself, what can I take away or what can I stop doing to make my offer better instead of what can I add to make my offer better?